it, mostly I subscribed just to experiment, just to see what was going to happen with it. And uh, the price was right, you know, so that helped. Uh, I, I use the undo feature. I shortened the length to uh, 10 seconds, I think it is. And uh, I'm impatient, so I still tend to uh, let some mistakes slide through. Um, but what I wanted to share, like, you know, the cosmetic changes to the, the avatar and the button are really fun. I don't know why, but I keep changing the colors of everything. Um, what I really wanted to share, though, was um, like a lot of people who probably are adopting Twitter Blue, I subscribed with my personal account and I work um, as a marketing manager in the pharma marketing space. And it wasn't until this week, um, like after the rollout uh, to the U S and the new features coming in, um, I mentioned to my boss, we were on a call and I said, you know, I think, I think, you know, we should subscribe at least one of our work accounts to this um, because of the top articles feature. Uh, it's a great way to do some social listening on what clients are uh, tweeting and talking about what stories matter to them and even, you know, get a bit of a glimpse into what uh, some of the competitors might be talking about as well. So we subscribed um, also on, you know, one of the other accounts that's sitting here on my phone. So, so that was a, that was a pretty cool thing to, uh, to do. Thanks. Uh, Glendon, how's that going so far as you have added one mm. of your work, work accounts? Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, yeah, I, I did send some feedback. Um, to I, I can't re recall if it's just to the Twitter Blue account or or to who it was. One of the one of the drawbacks of having Twitter Blue when you have multiple accounts on your phone. I've got two work accounts, a group blog I'm part of it, side of work, and then my personal account. Um, one of the drawbacks to Twitter Blue is in the um, uh, or at least a feature that it needs is is in the colors in being able to um, set up what you want it to look like, right? Because you have all that control over like making your links. My links are all purple right now. Um, the thing is, even if you only have it on one account, um, it will change the links to say purple on all of the accounts on your phone, even though you don't have access to the rest of the features on your phone. So um, I'm a very visual person. I work with visuals all day, um, and you know, it would be really nice to be able to pick and choose which uh, account has what color so that I know I'm tweeting from the correct account and not accidentally putting personal stuff on work, which hasn't happened, but, you know, it happens to everybody once in a while. Um, so, yeah, so that would be, that would be great. Um, having it on, on, uh, you know, multiple accounts, I think, um, for me personally, again, I like the experimentation. I like seeing what's coming in labs. Um, I messed around a lot with the buttons on the bottom uh, the first couple of days and then realized that was another drawback is if I customize my personal buttons along the bottom, uh, when I go back to use the work account from my phone, everything's in the wrong spot, you know, and, and, and my, uh, my muscle memory is going to be all messed up. Um, so, yeah, so that there's, there's definitely some, uh, some little, I think, UI things that it would be nice to see down the road. Thank you, Glenda. That's awesome. Um, any follow up? Isabel or Smita on, on Glendon. I'm with, Glendon, stay a speaker if you, if you can. I mean, we, we might uh, call you back up. No problem. Um, okay, let's see. Bunsen and Beaker. I don't know your real name. If you don't want me to know your real name, that's okay. But <laughs> I just, <laughs> what's your name? So I can. It's, uh, it's, it's Jason. My name's Jason. Bunsen okay, and Beaker. Jason. Yeah, the <laughs> okay. dogs are way more famous than I am. Gotcha. Um, okay, we Jason, have... you're, you're, you're next, and then David Blue is after you. <laughs> oh, can I go now? I'm sorry, I didn't yes, have to step up. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. No, no, you're first. Go ahead. Yeah, um, we have Twitter Blue. Uh, we're up in Canada. I'm really happy with Twitter Blue. Um, the f the features we use the most uh, is definitely the bookmarks. Um, we run spaces, and we have our science communication account. So keeping track of all of the cool tweets and like important stuff about spaces, like and the our previous like advertisements for spaces. That's just streamlined everything for us. It saved me like scrolling through thousands of things and just kind of going bananas there. Um, also in the labs, um, being able to post from desktop long videos. We tried that a couple times with like long drone shots of the dogs just frolicking about in our in our on our farm, and that was a hit. And it was kind of cool because people liked the longer video. So that's all I had to say. Uh, I, we really like it. We're excited to see extra stuff that might come to Twitter Blue. I can't think of anything off the top of my head that we would like more, but we're excited for anything else. 
Thanks so much, Jason. One quick follow up for you. Um, I know that we're limited to desktop right now on longer video. Would you be? Would it be better if it was on mobile as well, or you're it's better for oh, you on desktop? Some yes, some no. Um, like the drone has to be uploaded to my our desktop first before we put it to mobile. But I do with most of the editing of the dogs on mobile, and that would be amazing if we could just straight up yeet you know, a 10 minute long video of the dogs right to YouTube. Like that would be great. People, yeah. oh. people would love whatever content we put out there. People want more of it. So that would be amazing. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. And just to follow up there um, about the longer video, have you, has that helped you in like post more videos or and engage in that format more with the feature? It's been a novelty, like uh, for us, like a 10 minute video editing, 10 minutes of drone shots would be like an hour of work. So it's just straight up extra content, um, unedited footage. And you know, we had a pretty good response to it. So if it was on mobile where I do most of the editing and montages, that would be, I'm, I mean, that would be really, really cool to be honest with you. Um, you'd get like, we would definitely help promote that too. Cause that's a big deal for creators. Awesome. That's great to hear. Thank you for that feedback. Awesome. David Blue. Hello. Um, this is a this is a big moment for me. Sorry, I'm going to preface it real quick. And that uh, after it's like 10 years of, of unrequited uh, feedback and requests, uh, I'm glad to talk to you guys, Twitter employees. Um, so I'm going to focus on your question. Uh, why did I subscribe? Well, it would be silly of me not to, having spent my entire adult life publicly requesting that you guys uh, implement a subscription service, honestly, for any of the uh, the advantages that, that it has for users. Um, I, uh, I want to say uh, a, a big piece of feedback. The Twitter for iOS app has at since I subscribed to Twitter Blue. This is gonna sound really contentious, by the way. I'm just like a, a big edgy, but like uh, I want you to know that I'm in I'm in here because I'm invested in Twitter too. Um, <laughs> the uh, Twi the iOS app has not randomly logged me out uh, not once in the past seven days that I've been subscribed. So I do appreciate that. Um, I love I love. The investment in lists that you guys are showing, it's like been my pet thing for uh, 12, my whole 12 years of of being a Twitter user. Um, and it represents a real investment in uh, giving people the power to curate for themselves. Um, the, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, re I'm really happy about that. I used to have... Uh, a reminder that uh, a weekly reminder to check the the Trello card in your guys' roadmap for Twitter lists. That's that's how <laughs> invested I am with that feature. Um, and I I want you to stop me. Uh, let me just. What do just one... Are you is is there more that you want to say, David? One more note. Go ahead. On, on a suggestion. An ability to queue posts, um, and I guess in tandem, look into ways that other services have implemented delete and redraft. I think the the undo tweet. I understand the sentiment, and I understand the ridiculous pressure that you're that you faced. It. I also understand that fundamentally editing the, the way that Twitter was designed from the very beginning, it makes no sense. Um, but even better tweet deck is a, is a plugin that enhances tweet deck uh implements delete and redraft which is exactly what it says and i think in tandem that would be very powerful also can if you uh maybe could lift follow limits for people that pay <laughs> i haven't been able to follow anyone on twitter since 2017 david 
curious for you, what would the delete and redraft give you that you're currently not getting with the undo button? I know you touched on this a little bit, but I'd love to hear more about that. It's difficult to describe without, if you've never used the feed. So what delete and redraft, simply what it does uh, is, well, okay, I'm going to use Mastodon as an example because um, it, it it's native there in Mastodon's uh, in Toot Suite, it's web client. Uh, you push one button about where it's it's in a three three dot uh, menu on an individual post, and then you push deleting and redraft, and it instantly, without confirmation, deletes that post and then moves the content of that post back into the compose window. So, um, I think you guys and I, I, I want to give you a lot of flag for the undo tweet thing, but it is legitimately a psychologically intelligent uh, way of accomplishing. I think that's very smart. I, I'm, I'm actually very impressed, I should say. Uh, after having, I've been really, really critical of Twitter this year, specifically for adjacent reasons. So, God, please don't, please don't feel like emotionally uh, responsible for anything on my timeline. And thank you. Thank you for listening to me. <laughs> it's okay, David. We, we appreciate all the feedback. This is why we have this open forum for you. Um, and you're always welcome to share constructive criticism for us. As you, as you can notice over the past year or so, we are sharing a lot more and we're very transparent in how we're building. So, um, we, we appreciate all the feedback. All right. You're trying. Yeah. But <laughs> oh yeah transparency pushing it but yeah all right okay. <laughs> all right well fair enough thank you so much for sharing all right we've got doran doran uh, if i mispronounce your name please correct me it's doran thank you very much doran how are you thank you thanks i'm for doing coming. great yeah thanks for uh having me up so yeah i've been enjoying my twitter blue experience quite a bit uh definitely the bookmark um well, first of all, first that... of all, what what motivated you to jump into it, uh, subscribing to begin with? Please tell us that. Yeah, I mean, I think in general, um, you know, there's a aspect of it of wanting to support Twitter, just being a long time user, and finally having a, a way to support the product um, is like probably the most important thing for me. Um, the bookmark feature is the most appealing to me. That's probably what it, the most utility I get out of it. Um, it's been interesting to look at the top articles, although a lot of times, like uh, the the articles I see in there are, you know, I've already seen, you know, more organically. Um, so that one doesn't have as much value. Uh, but bookmarks are a real pain point for me for Twitter, um, which kind of leads me into the like the area of suggestions and, and things I'd love to see. Uh, one I suspect is, is really hard, but like search for bookmarks has sort of been a holy grail that I've always wanted to do because I can never categories and folders helps a lot because there's always that thing of like, oh yeah, there was a tweet about this thing. So now that I can categorize them, I guess it, it, uh, it's easier to sift through them, but definitely being able to search, which I understand is like a very hard technical problem is something that, that would be really appealing. Um, other things in the way of feature requests that I think would be really cool are, you know, uh, there's so many other services out there that help you do things like uh, delete old old uh, tweets or delete likes. Um, that just seems like a natural thing to eventually get into this product for, for power users. It's, it's something that, you know, I always want to do, but I, you know, I always forget to do it. Um, so just sort of like being able to, to go back and, and auto delete, uh, either tweets or likes is something that, that would be great to get in the product. That's, um, awesome. I'd love to, uh, talk about the bookmark folders. Like what are you using bookmark folders for and how often do you go back to them? Um, I mean, I just use them for, you know, like, let's say these are posts about crypto or, you know, these are things about, you know, um, I, I work in product. So things about product or, you know, I, I bookmark pictures of cats to show my wife because she she's obsessed with cats, you know. So it, it's just sort of just a way to um, have it be easier to go back when I do want to remember, you know, a subject. It's just sort of easier. I'm hoping that I've 
taken the time to tag it correctly in the past, which I don't always do. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Anyway, anyway like uh, just congratulations to the team. It's inspiring to see. And, you know, it's been great for everyone to see how much you guys have been iterating in general across all of Twitter, but then especially with Twitter blue, it's going to be really fun to see where you guys take it. Thank you to Ron. Brian, you're up next. Exciting. All right. Well, thank you for having me up. So I guess starting with why I decided to sign up for Twitter blue, I am a, I'm actually a Facebook convert. Used to use Facebook far more than Twitter, but Facebook got really mad at me for talking um, about white people um, in 2019. So I started using Twitter more and then got hooked more on Twitter. Had not had a Twitter account forever. And I joined uh, Twitter Blue really specifically, I think for two things was the ability to undo tweets and uh, the scroll integration. Uh, I was a huge scroll user. So it's been super nice to have that uh, connection in Twitter Blue. So I really appreciated being able to read ad-free articles on uh, my Twitter timeline. Uh, that's been very, very nice. I second the you know, delete and redraft function, I think that would be helpful. The other thing that I would love is priority on like feature rollout. So I know that a lot of accounts are starting to get the new spaces tab uh, for uh, being able to actually see all the spaces going on at a time. And I am forever frustrated that I am paying Twitter and yet it hasn't hit my account yet. <laughs> so, um, you know, I do, that would be an excellent addition to know that, you know, you really are like, first up, you're in the first batch of people who will get this. And if you join, you're going to get it shortly. I know there's some technical concerns and like, how do we prioritize this person who just joined Twitter Blue to get these new features? that haven't been rolled out completely when we've already got a rollout strategy in line. But I think that would be really helpful. Um, other than that, I think, I mean, I'm sure there will be more things, but for now, like I'm pretty happy. I, I will echo the bookmark search. I also use bookmark uh, to sort of categorize or to a whole, I mean, right now I don't categorize. The folders are not going to work great for me because of my ADHD. I just won't remember to put them in the right folder at the right time. But the ability to, so search is even more powerful for me because I can just uh, surface the thing that I've been looking for. I mean, I have tweets that, you know, I may only refer to um, once every six months, but like there's the tweet for the thing that I want to send to somebody that I'm introducing them to a topic and there's been a brilliant tweet thread about it. And today, all of that gets outsourced to Readwise and places like that instead of staying on Twitter, in the Twitter app. Um, and, you know, that is, that is definitely something that is frustrating. Um, the other thing I think would be, you know, as we talked about, like, the additional features. But, like, if you're a Twitter Blue member, the ability to be prioritized for things like community would be helpful. I put in a request to have community and haven't heard back, you know, and it would be neat to be able to say, well, you know, you're supporting us. So we, you know, we are going to give you some priority in terms of reviewing your applications and getting back to you. Thanks, Brian. A few um, follow-up questions um, sure. for you. So first, you mentioned um, ad-free articles. Um, I'd love to hear more about, you know, your experience with ad-free articles, what you're liking about it. Um, if you could talk a little bit about that. Sure. Um, in general, I just... I don't hate ads, but I hate the way that they screw up my ability to view something and read it clearly and to engage with it without having to, you know, oftentimes not even be able to read all of the content because there's something blocking it. So, um, and I also like the concept that I am supporting the, uh, the, the creators, the folks who have written the, those articles. So that's been really powerful in terms of knowing that like people are still getting money 
even if I don't have to see their ads, because it's like the best of both worlds for me. Um, I haven't really tried the top articles much. It's mostly just that being able to, um, Vox, is a, Vox is a site I read very often, and Vox and the Verge, and just being able to not see their ads, but still know that they're being, you know, they're being supported is really powerful for me. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, the supporting journalism aspect of it is amazing. Have you checked out the impact chart? Um, not yet. I know that it's there. I was actually just looking over there today before something came up, but I um, will check it out. I think that will be really cool to see. Yeah, check it out. And if you have any feedback or any suggestions, um, feel free to DM me. My DMs are always open. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. The other um, thing I wanted to ask you about, you speak about how you want you know Twitter Blue subscribers to be first in line for um, features and stuff. Have you um, you know, are you familiar with labs? That's part of the subscription offering. Yeah, I see that there is a list of items in labs, but it doesn't seem like, it seems like it says, you know, here's what you have in labs um, and you can do these things, which is great. Um, but like, that's cool. Uh, but I, it doesn't, you know, if there are things that are already rolling out, uh, it's I like mean, it would be great for me to have access to those. The things in labs, like the upload longer videos, is pretty cool. Um, pin conversations is not something I would use a whole bunch right now, but um, upload longer videos is something actually I had not paid attention to. One of the things that I think labs would actually be helpful is if it's, and this is what. Uh, Google did to some degree with Gmail, but like the power of feeling like you get to opt into a lab is really neat. Um, to be like, I choose this and I get it because I am a Twitter Blue subscriber instead of like, these are these things that I have because it's something I want. So the ability to choose the thing that you want, even if, for example, it's actually all enabled behind the scenes or whatever, um, is something I think that would, would help folks, you know, feel that labs brought them more value. Because like the things that I want specifically like aren't available in labs in a lot of cases. <laughs> awesome. Um, that makes a lot of sense. And yeah, the um and Sina, you can jump in too, but with labs, um, we're giving you access to features before they launch or they may not fully launch, but we're asking from for feedback and kind of hearing about people's experiences with features that we're um testing. Got it. Thanks so much for your thoughtful comments, Brian. Um, we appreciate it. So let me just give you, there's there's several other people in the queue, but I know, let's say we've been going about 30 minutes or so, and some folks have, some new people have joined. We're talking to Twitter Blue subscribers and getting feedback in this space today. So if you join in a little late, that's who we're inviting up to the mic. So if you are not a Twitter Blue subscriber, just hang tight and um, listen and learn. Um, those of you who are, who are requesting the mic, please, please, Please be Twitter Blue subscribers. We really appreciate that. Okay, the next up is the order is Crystal is next. And then we've got, oh, Scott, because I know it looks like you had some problems coming up. Crystal, Scott, and then the tweet 001, you're next. And then Noel. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me up. Um, I kind of joined late into the, into the conversation, but I get the gist of it. Um, I... I am liking the Twitter blue, but I feel like um, can you can you can you tell us a little bit about what motivated you to subscribe in the first place, please? Um, I just wanted to see what extra options that it had, and so um, I mean, I only I've only been on Twitter since like January, um, and I wasn't on social media for the like the previous ten years, really. So, um, and. It's just, um, when, when I was on social media, there's like, I, I don't know. I like the options of having folders for, um, all my different categories. Cause I like to, I'm into so many different things. Like it's hard to scroll back through all of my tweets and all the people I've like retweeted and stuff to find a tweet. So the bookmark thing was like something I was really interested in. And I think it'd be really nice to have like a quick favorite button. So like if you see a tweet that you like, you can favorite it and then go back into your favorites and kind of like reorganize and put them into different bookmarks or something. Um, and then 
like I'm with whoever was saying that about the follow limit. Cause I am, con- I am constantly in follow jail. Like I go into all these amazing spaces and I'm hearing all these phenomenal people talk about like so many different things that I'm interested in. And I want to like follow all these people. And so I go through and I follow speakers and then I get put into follow jail for like a day or two and I can't follow anybody back. And that is something that is really frustrating. Um, and I've heard that a lot throughout Twitter spaces as well as the, the follow limit is a, is a big thing for a lot of people. Um, and then, Oh, what I really do love is the, the, the theme option. So I have all mine in purple now because purple is my favorite color. And, um, I, I just, it's more appealing to me to see my tweets and everything in purple. Um, and then there was, what? Oh yeah. Um, I don't, I don't know if you guys can do anything about this, but I, I, I got you here. So in the Twitter spaces, it would be really nice um, to have a couple more emojis when people are speaking to be able to like give them a heart or a fire or, you know, there's just a few other emojis that would be super helpful in Twitter spaces. So I think that was, I mean, and maybe having like the fact that we could only have one pen tweet for me, like, and going and seeing other people's pages, like, I want to see a little bit more about who they are at the top of their page and not have to, like, scroll through whatever hundreds or thousands of tweets to see more about this specific person. And, you know, myself included, I'd like to put a little bit more information at the top of my Twitter page. So when people come in there, they can see a little bit more information about me and I can see more information about other people. Crystal, um, question for you. I love how you're using the theming and um, I love your choice of purple. I had that. Um, <laughs> um, and then I switched. Um, what other personalization or customization would you like to have? Um, it's not, I mean, I would more, I would rather have just more options of like spaces emojis is one thing that, I mean, it's something that we're always talking about in spaces is, you know, the limit of how many emojis we can, you know, tell people how we're, the audience is feeling kind of. Um, I mean, I think maybe like a long, a little bit longer of a bio would be nice. I, I don't know. Like as far as customization goes, it's just like just a little bit more room to show who we are or maybe even like feature our NFTs, you know, um, with, and I don't know, some other photo options or something. I'm not really sure what that entails. <laughs> I wasn't actually ready for this. I just kind of like got out of the gym and I saw this. So I, I didn't, I didn't really have all my thoughts gathered yet. <laughs> That's okay. We appreciate your spontaneity. Isabel, did you have other follow-ups? Oh, sorry, my my voice, yeah. my audio thing got oh, weird. I was just I did have. To, I was just about to say this okay. thing. Can you hear me? Yeah, 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 awesome. yeah, yeah. We got you. Awesome. Okay, is are, are there any more follow ups, uh, Crystal? Do you have anything um, else to share? Yeah, yeah, there was one last thing that I just thought of is like, so I I pretty much follow everybody back that follows me until they give me a reason not to follow them, and um, but also like scroll like trying to find people in your followers is really a challenge too. Like I have to scroll all the way like through, I have, you know, I mean, I, I have 5,000 followers or something. So trying to find people all the way back to the bottom is like, so like, it's, it's so time consuming and so hard to like, if there was a way to, I don't know, be able to search your followers or like see, who's following or who unfollowed you or anything like that. Like just a little bit more um, structure with how to find your followers or share your followers or something like that. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for all of that valuable feedback, Crystal. We really appreciate it. Here's the order next. So we've got Scott and we've got um, Scott and then we've got uh, the, the tweet zero zero one. Um, so Scott, the tweet zero zero one, then Noel, and then I believe there was someone else coming up. 
Go ahead, Scott. I think you're muted, Scott. You want to hit the mic button? All right. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go to the tweet 001. If you have a real name that you want us to yeah, <laughs> call you. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, yeah, hi, all. Uh, my name is... Uh, my name is Sai. I'm from India. All right. Basically, I yeah. Basically, I named it uh, the tweet zero zero one because I love Twitter, and uh, uh, the Jack, the CEO of uh, you know Twitter, where he started started Twitter two thousand six, and the way it developed now, it's very amazing. It's, it's one of the very topmost you know chat uh, platform and it's leading the world. And it's so very I, good. Are you are you a Twitter Blue subscriber? Uh, no, no, actually, okay. I'm not a good. So, yeah. here, here, but here, I have here, a feed. Well, well, wait a second, wait a second. Here's, here's this space is about Twitter Blue, and we're inviting Twitter Blue subscribers to to share their feedback with us. So, what I'm going to invite you to do is go back to listener and listen to how people are are experiencing the Twitter Blue, um, their Twitter Blue subscription, and uh, then maybe when you when you have it available for you, then you can share your feedback after you. Um, uh, after you get it, okay? So remember, if you're a Twitter Blue subscriber, this is who we're getting feedback from now. All right, looks like Scott is back. I think his audio problems are are better. So Scott, you can come back up, and then we've got uh, Adam next. I'm sorry, Noel, and then Adam. All right, Scott, go ahead, man. Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. I had a little bit of a <clears throat> of a bug uh, turning turning off the mute. Um, but it's working now. Uh, how are you guys doing? Awesome. So can you please start out by telling us what, what motivated you to subscribe to Twitter Blue and um, tell us a little bit about, you know, what you're liking, you know, what, you know, any issues or any your, your entire experience? Yeah. So I originally subscribed because I've been a longtime Twitter user for, you know, five plus years using it very regularly. And when this option came out, it was one of those things where I sort of just wanted to like give back in a way. Um, like, at, like all this time I felt like I should be paying Twitter, but I never, I never have paid Twitter or anything. So this was the first opportunity to actually like give my money to Twitter as weird as that sounds. Um, but it was actually some, some, uh, a lot of the same sentiment I saw amongst my, amongst my followers too. Like we've gotten a lot of value out of Twitter. So it's like, how can we, uh, how can we start paying them a little bit? Um, and the features that it's been interesting because the features that I was originally excited for, um, uh, which was book bookmarks, I haven't been using much. Um, I have the same sentiment as the gentleman, Brian from earlier, which is I'm bookmarking a lot of things and, and I'm going quick. So for me, it takes a little bit too much time to think, okay, what folder should this go into? So I end up just putting it in or not putting it in a specific folder. Um, I haven't been using that, but I have been using the thread feature, the threader. Uh, that's been really nice. I, I like, you know, if I'm reading a long thread, I like just uh, being able to kind of breeze through and not see uh, not see all the other stuff. Uh, that's been nice. And I really like, I just got this on iOS last night, thanks to uh, the help from one of your colleagues to tell me to download the new iOS, but the top articles is, is really nice. Um, I like to be able to see what my followers are sharing, uh, uh, you know, which specific articles they're sharing. My only problem with it, it doesn't update very often. So it's like, I think I can only check like once a day. Otherwise it's, it's the same articles, I think for 24 hours. Right. So, uh, that's been, that's been good. And then the, the custom navigation has been really nice. Uh, I liked having my bookmarks on the navigation to be able to quickly go to those. And, and I have the top articles there as well to be able to see that. And uh, that, that's basically everything I've used. I, I've, I've really enjoyed it between the threader, the navigation and the top articles. It's been great. So really great job uh, and uh, appreciate all the work you guys are doing. Thank you, Scott. Uh, we're gonna go over to Noel. Hi, hi everybody. How's everybody doing? Awesome. Great. Good to hear. 
Uh, well, I, I reported on Twitter Blue when uh, Jane uh, Jane Wong first kind of uh, let the cat out of the bag. I reported on it for Money.com, and and just recently I subscribed once it became available in the U.S. I think the feature I'm using the most is the bookmark folders. What I would love is if that feature was available on desktop because I find myself putting lots of stuff into the folders, but then I can't recall it uh, on my laptop. So that would be great. Also, uh, this might sound crazy, but I'm just going to throw it out there. I think multiple pinned tweets would be good as well. Kind of like a, like a gallery almost like the dashboard on, on this space, for instance, uh, the ability to go live with, with a friend. I think that's not, that's something that's not really being used much on Twitter going live in events. That'd be great if we could do so and do so with a friend. Also, I would love to schedule tweets from my phone. That would be amazing. I do schedule tweets often on my laptop, but the ability to do so on my phone would just take it to another level. And also, and just one final thing for the tip jar, uh, I've seen you guys have done some great things. I know that, and, and I'm sorry, I know this is not a Twitter blue feature, but it could be if you could possibly add other things to the tip jar, like buy me a coffee or other forms of payment, that would be great as well. But just to kind of round it up, I think making the folders available on desktop would be amazing. I'd appreciate that. That's all I have. Thank you. Um, Noel, I have a couple of follow-up questions regarding the scheduling of tweet. Are you using your personal account for scheduling or um, do you have a, a business account or professional account that you're using for that? No, this is, this is the only okay. account I use. I guess you could call it a hybrid between personal and professional. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Um, and then I will say that we are working on bookmark folders on web, web actively. So stay tuned. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Let's see. We we're running about 11 minutes to the top of the hour when we finish. So I'm going to try to get as many people rotating up as possible. So uh, keep your comments as brief and on point as possible. Okay. Adam, you're next. And then I've got Margie. You're, you're after Adam and then Miss Tanya after that. Go ahead. Hi, Reggie. How you doing? Uh, uh, glad to be here. Uh, thanks for let me ask, uh, share. Um, so, uh, I guess with the, the expansion of Twitter communities, uh, Twitter spaces and, uh, the feed, uh, having additional, uh, tools to, uh, manage that, uh, manage those, uh, uh, within the app, uh, makes it much easier. The, the bookmarks, uh, for me, uh, I completely rewrote, uh, Social media, my social can you, media plan can, for can you, can you tell, um, Adam, Adam, let me stop you. Can you tell us uh, what motivated you to subscribe to Twitter Blue to begin with, please? Yes, that's uh, the 10 minute video. Uh, that was huge. And because uh, initially starting out as a micro blog, uh, and then for me, that's a natural, natural progression to become a vlog. And uh, so that's huge for me. And uh, it would be great. Uh, to uh, ha use that on the phone. So I would uh, absolutely be a power user if I was able to stream my, or, you know, use Twitter Live for 10 minutes from my phone. So that'd be great. And uh, the bookmarks. I like to be organized and uh, ready to go. And, uh, you know, rather than scrolling all the way down. So, uh, yeah, that was the main, uh, for me, the main thing so far. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. We're going to go. I think Margie, Margie left us. So we're going to go to Miss Tanya. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. Um, how are you guys doing? Fantastic. So, that's good. Um, so I like the whole everything that they doing um, with Twitter Blue. The thing that catch my eyes the most was the theme and the bookmark and also the, um, oh man, I forgot the icon <laughs> that I like that. Also, it would have been nice if we can actually have, you know, like 
recorded conversation, not recorded conversation, but voice um, conversation, blue to blue, you know, community and stuff like that, instead of communicating through the spaces and stuff like that. That will be a plus for me. Because <laughs> sometimes okay. I don't get on the spaces and, you know, you want to send a little memo or something, voice memo, and you can actually just got to type it and all that. But other than that, I, pre- I I love it. I love the bookmark. I love everything. Thank you. It's awesome. That's great feedback. Thank you, Tanya. All right, Margie. Yeah. Thanks. You're up next. Hi. Hi, Reggie. I'm sorry about earlier. My whole space went black and it just, I could still hear you talking, but I had to um, force close the app to get it to restart. After, well, after you close down the space and they ask you how your experience went, hit, mm-hmm. the, hit the frowny face. And then I think you can share a little bit about what, what problems you have just, just so that our engineers can, can get this feedback. Okay. Okay. Um, the only, I really like Twitter blue. I'm going to be really, really short. The only thing I really want is with, I love the bookmark folders. I want to rearrange them because I was doing all my folders. Then I thought I didn't do this in alphabetical order. Ugh. So just trying to find the ones I want, like in order. So when I go back to them, it'll be easier. But that's it. That's all I want to say. Thank you, Marge. You're okay. Welcome. So, uh, Roberta. Roberta, you're next, and then True Crypto News, um, you're next. Roberta? Roberta Linton? Okay, if you're having some audio challenges, no worries. We'll try to... We still have about seven more minutes. We'll try to come back to you. Okay. So true, true crypto news. If you have a name that you'd like for us to call you by, it's okay if you don't, but just <laughs> trying to identify you in some way. Please share. Hello. You got to unmute in order to share. Okay. No worries. We're going to move on. We'll try. Hello. To- Can you hear okay. me? All right. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm doing just fine. Uh, can you sh- share with us a little bit about your experience with Twitter Blue so, mm-hmm. Twitter Blue so far? Ha- hello, I'm, 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 I live in Northern Ireland. I'm sorry? Northern Ireland. Oh, Northern Ireland. Okay, all the way from Northern Ireland. Well, hey. Oh, well, yeah. Well do, you oh. Have a, well, do you have a subscription to Twitter Blue? Yeah, I do. Okay. I mean, it's okay over there. Yeah, we're doing awesome. Oh, yeah. I'm a very advocate for uh, animal abuse. Okay. All right. So we're going to move on over to uh, Wayne. Okay, Wayne, tell us about your Twitter Blue experience so far. How, why did you join? What, what motivated you to join? Join yet. I, I came into the space to learn more about it. But oh. I, just have a, I just have a question. <laughs> okay, uh, can, can can you, Wayne? I'm sorry. Can you hold your question? Let's let's pause for a minute, everyone. So, Smitha and Isabel, we we have um, only five more minutes left. So, I want to make sure that Wayne, Hank, can can you mute for a minute, Wayne, please? And then I'll then I'll let you ask your question. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Um, so we have about five minutes left, and I want us to you know maybe you know maybe we'll have Wayne share uh, ask his question because it's. I did. I did say at the beginning that, hey, if you weren't a subscriber, we'd we'd leave some time at the end for folks to ask questions. So maybe we can get Wayne in, and maybe someone else. Is that okay, Smita and um, Isabel? Absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to try to get one or two questions in about Twitter Blue. So Wayne, you're first. Wayne. Yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, thank you for allowing me to ask the question. No worries. Um, as someone who's in the entertainment music industry, uh, one of the things I heard is that you're allowed to have a 10 minute video. Now, uh, I think that's very much important because sometimes when I post and and I post about artists and I post about whatever it is I'm doing in the entertainment industry, the the two minute limit, two, tw- two minutes and 20 second limit sometimes does not help me as far as my brand. So as far as a 10 minute video, what are you allowed to post and what will be, uh, what what is not allowed? 
it's going to be subject to all our current copyright um, policies. So anything that's against our Twitter code of conduct and policies um, will not be allowed. Same and and, and uh, another thing, monetization. Uh, is, is there a monetization aspect to Twitter Blue? For you to monetize against Twitter Blue? No, not, not, not today. Will it be offered in the future? Or what I mean by monetization, I mean, is it going to be like something like YouTube where you're able to uh, monetize your content? Or is it just for undoing tweets, editing your tweets, bookmarks, or is there any other features that will help one's brand? I think right now our goal with Twitter Blue is focused on those who are trying to elevate their current Twitter experience. And so our focus is on bringing features that is um, towards that specific goal. Thank you. I appreciate for you allowing me to ask the questions. Thank you. Thank no you. worries, Wayne. Thank you. Thank you for coming up. I appreciate that. Okay, so we have three more minutes left. Uh, let's, let's try to get one more um, question or share. So F1 uh, in America... I think you we're gonna you, you may be our last comment or question. Go ahead. Uh, not a question here, but uh, just new to Twitter Blue and have been enjoying the features and functionality. I'm still exploring a little bit uh, of what's what's on offer, and um, I, I I I feel like there's a, a little bit of a more smoother flow to my Twitter experience, and I feel like um, I, I just I feel like I'm getting a little bit more of like a a ground floor view of, uh, of what others are doing and, and what, um, less noise in general. So thank you. What was your, uh, motivation for subscribing to begin with? Uh, thanks. I am, uh, running a, a ton of spaces now on Twitter and I'm finding that I'm getting more and more, I'm, I'm just spending more and more screen time, um, with Twitter. And I think it, I think what I'm noticing is that it's, it's there's less fatigue. I, I don't know how to, else to describe that, but um, I, I'm I'm getting what I need more quickly, and I'm I think I'm just enjoying. I think there's just a sort of just general experience vibe that I'm that I'm enjoying more from from using Twitter. And so for me, it was it was worth it. Um, I wasn't sure for a long time, but uh, I'm glad that um, you know I've signed up and I. You know, I feel like I'm I'm using this, you know, quite a bit now. And, and so just spending more time here makes it, I think, a little bit more of an incentive to, to sign up. Thank you so much. We really appreciate that feedback. Um, and I thank everyone. Thank everyone who's who come up to uh, to share with us. So I'm, I'm going to pass it back over to Isabel and Smitha for some so for some closing comments and then we'll wrap things up. Awesome. Thank you guys all for um, joining today. Like I said earlier, um, please tweet at us or DM us. We want to hear um, feedback. This is the first of many Feedback Friday sessions to come. Um, and all these insights were very valuable. Smita, off to you. Yeah, just wanted to uh, plus one to Isabel. Thank you so much for spending time with us. This has been really valuable and helpful. And we still want to hear from you, from those who didn't, we didn't get a chance to hear from today. Please tweet at us. DM us, let us know your thoughts because we are listening. We're always listening because um, we want to make this better for you. So let us know. Awesome. Thank you so much, Smitha and Isabel, for co-hosting with me. Um, and, and I just want to just thank everyone who has supported Feedback Friday since July, since we started. Um, your feedback is super valuable to us. We're going to be off next week because it's Thanksgiving holiday here in the United States and we're, we're off work next Friday. But then we'll be back on the following Friday, which I believe is December the 6th. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah no, to December 3rd. So that'll be the next Feedback Friday. So thank you, everyone, for joining. We really, again, appreciate your support and appreciate you sharing your feedback with us. Again, if you have feedback for Twitter Blue, you can um, DM Isabel or Smitha or you can email us at feedbackfriday at twitter.com, or you can reply back to the promo tweet. We get them all. We get all the information. All right. Thank you all for joining today. We'll see you next time.